One of the questions when it comes to a story like this, which can perhaps seem like the media talking about itself, is how much the public really cares. In this case, though, they do. And that also comes with some risks. Before that, we've been taking a look at how public interest in the story, the identity of the BBC presenter in question, has played out on social media. That was one hashtag on Twitter, and here is another. The most prominent hashtags around the issue, at their peak yesterday, they were used some 25,000 times. And that was around the same time that the young person at the centre of the story said via lawyers that nothing inappropriate or unlawful happened with the unnamed presenter. Twitter isn't, of course, the entire world, but even on TikTok, the story's getting lots of attention. Here's a similar sort of hashtag. And the second hashtag, again, similar to what we saw on Twitter, again, very popular up there. And across the web, too, people are searching for this. This is the interest on Google with people seeking out information. Searching is different from posting, though, especially when it comes to specific names. It could have serious consequences and even lead to libel action. A number of names have been circulating to the extent that some BBC presenters have made clear they're innocent and unconnected to the case. Among them, Jeremy Vine, Gary Lineker, Ryland Clark and Nikki Campbell. We've charted how many times their names were posted on Twitter, along with two other BBC presenters who've not made any public comment. And tonight, Jeremy Vine has called on the unnamed presenter to reveal themselves to take away some of the vitriol these presenters are getting online. But libel law applies to everyone, not just journalists. And that means anyone posting names like this could face serious consequences. I think the law of privacy is in a really difficult place. In particular, there's a real grey area about when journalists can report the names of people subject to these allegations. I, I think it is a huge uh, phenomenon on social media over the last few days. Uh, people just don't know what the potential consequences are. Uh, they might think it's a laugh, but of course they are really damaging allegations to the people who are not involved. It makes for a very modern media frenzy. Traditional publishers avoiding names because of privacy laws and so fueling rampant and potentially damaging speculation online.